Hey guys, I'm Tesla and I'm back with a really quick tutorial. What we're going to do in this one is add an outline to an object so it looks like we can interact with it. Okay, so I'm going to start this tutorial by grabbing a material out of the content example project and I'm going to come to the game folder in it in the content browser and just type and search for highlight and you'll find material highlight. So we're going to migrate this to our project now. So just right click, migrate and just direct it to the content folder of your project. And once you've got that imported, we're going to come to the example content, blueprint communication, materials, and you can see it's there. So with this, we're going to search for the global post process volume in the scene outliner. If you haven't got a post process volume, just add one in and make sure it covers the map. And we're going to select that and scroll down till you find the miscellaneous tab and you'll find blendables. So we're going to add one here and make sure it's set to that highlight. Now we're going to grab a door from the props and make it look like we can interact with it when we get close to it. So if it's selected, I'm going to come into the level blueprint. I'm going to right click and type in get distance to. And I'm also going to get the player character. And we're going to compare this float just here with the value of 200. I'm also going to duplicate this door just to keep it neat. I'm going to get the mesh. And now I'm going to set render custom depth. And make sure that's checked. I'm also going to duplicate this and uncheck it so it goes away when we move away. And we're just going to grab a tick to fire this off. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So if we jump in the game now and come up to the door, uh, we can see uh, no, there's no outline, but if we get close to it, it kind of looks like we can interact with it now. Okay guys, that's it for this tutorial, just looking at how we can add a basic outline. Please make sure you stay subscribed, and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please get in touch because I now do tutoring for Unreal Engine 4 full-time.